In every marriage clash, there is always a two-sided story. Hmm. Guys, remember when Emeka Ike came out and he gave an interview with Channel TV and he narrated how his wife ruined him, sold his school, his property, his car, and she brought him to nothing before he started picking up the pieces of his life and also to the extent where his wife hid his four children away from him <laughs> now guys the wife has finally come out to see her own side of the story don't worry i'm going to play the whole recording here so that you guys can see the video for yourself because i don't re re even know what to believe or who to believe if it is a maker ek or the wife yes men really go through a lot a lot in marriage and they do not say it but most at times women are the victims in every crashed marriage because for me i believe that a woman will not leave her husband if he is good to her and like they said a good woman will stay with you with a man when he has nothing and to know a good man is when he has everything and still loves and gives her attention now we do not know because a, what emeka Ike said and what the wife is saying now it is two different things like there are two different things that the both of them are saying and we don't even know which one of them to believe like because this whole matter is turning into something else it make a is saying a different thing the wife is saying a different thing and based on comments and based on reaction of the both of them you could see that the two of them have two different story although there is a meeting point but i want you guys to listen to this voice recording and tell me what to think because for me hmm, i don't know what else to believe it is if it's the wife or if it is emika Ike who said that his wife ruined him to nothing so, um, he married at 19 very early right we were childhood friends and he married her and um, you know they started life with the hope of a beautiful future four children you understand the lady in question didn't grow up with a silver spoon. She's um, she's not um, what's it called? You know, she's one girl that has been through life. You know what I mean? She's worked so hard all her life. It hadn't been easy. The journey for all of us wasn't easy. So, you know, when you now meet someone, he married her immediately after secondary school. You know, she went to Federal Government College, Benin. So he married her immediately after secondary school. They got married, right? So you married a very young girl. All through this girl's life, you've tormented her. How do you come every single time? She's been keeping quiet for you every single time. She's been through hell. You took away the children from her. You know? All through this time, she has been covering up. You know how these artists, all these stars, you know how they are. They don't have, you know, they, they live according to... In the time of Emeka Sef, how much were they making as movie stars? How much? How can he come and say 400 million? 400 million what? This girl has been on the floor every day. Nothing, no shoes, no clothes. Starving with her children just so that Emeka can buy fuel in his bloody car because he's a star. He cannot be walking around the streets of Lagos. You took her away from everybody. Everybody is sleeping with her. Everybody is a, you can imagine that kind of life. What kind of quality of life is that? This child went through everything. This man was beating her. This beat, I'm telling you, is not small beat. It's Kick her down the stairs. Why would she go and start following a, a what's it called? A hit man. Uh, 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 this thing to kill you. Emeka, what do you have that somebody is killing you for? What? What do you have? What is the thing you have? Somebody wants to kill you. She's been living with you for how many years? Has four children for you. Why did she kill you from your food? Why did she kill you from everything in the house that she could have done? Why does she need to go and start? How much does Emma have? How much does Emma have? How much does this young lady in question have? This lover, I want you to investigate this matter. This this man, and this has to end. He has to stop. This last time, the one he did finally, he left his children. He is getting on with one lady in Germany. The lady is, um, is um, she lives in Germany. She's already, she had children. She's South African, blah, blah, blah. You know how these men are. They are hustling. He's a hustler. 
He went and married somebody that already has children. You know? So now, he left the children, dumped them all on their own. Four children, you left them. These children, no food, nothing. They were just there in that bungalow, in somewhere inside Abuja. No food, nothing. They, meanwhile, their mother was denied of seeing her children for years. My friend could not eat, could not sleep, could not move on, could not date anybody, could not do anything. Every night she's crying, every night she's crying, every day she's crying, and every time she sees my children, I had to run away from her. She's in tears, she's sad. She couldn't move on with her life. I kept on telling her, I said, see, now you need to walk her. These children are coming. Do you understand? They will come back to you. And when they come, what do you have to offer them? At some point, Emeka was living in a hotel with the children. Little children of how many years old? You are living in a hotel. How much does Emeka have? Which Mumu school? 400 million investment. He's a bloody liar. Emeka rented that place, a long-term lease. This young lady tried her best to manage the school as best as she could. Do you understand? So where do you, where do you come from? That you, who are you? I'm just tired. Do you understand? Every time he wants to trend, is this girl's name? Every, the girl can't move on. She can't have a life. Why do women have to suffer? She has left you. She has moved on. You do whatever you like. You remarry. She, you remarried. She did not remarry. She just wants to live her life for her children. Everything this Emma thinks about is her children, her children, her children. I can swear to God. I can swear. Enough is enough. At some point, I, she, she came and pitched with me. She was living in one place in Magodo, in one room, trying to teach. They were paying her 25,000 naira. Now this young lady has picked, you know, picked up the pieces, starting to patch her life. She had to go and get her children in Abuja, where Emeka dumped them. These children were eating rotting, contaminated food, fetching water on their head. No light. You can imagine a bungalow. This man still rented one room, two-room bungalow. This man still rented one room to a copper. I left these children and I went to Germany. What are we talking about here? She now had to go and get her children. Do you understand? So I don't even understand where Emeka is coming from. She never took his children away from him. These children have barely lived with her for three years. She did barely lived with her for three years. He was in Germany. He didn't know where the children were all along, all this time. He cannot. His first two kids are already young adults. And they have the right to see their father, right? My friend is not stopping them from seeing their father. They are allowed to see. She does not stop them because they are adults. They are young adults. But the other young ones, the other two, cannot. He cannot have them anymore. You can't be dumping them as you please when it's convenient for you to go and hustle. Are you a prostitute? What kind of life are you teaching those children? They are in a better place. Their mother is working day and night. She's ready to lick the floor with her tongue to make sure that those children are fine. She's not abandoning them to go and be with another man. She's not. And trust me, this lover, it has been hard. It has been hard for this girl. The fact that she does not talk. Section and tell me your reaction after watching this particular video. So I'll be seeing you guys in my next post. Thank you and God bless.